Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're gonna ask ourselves if Erasmus is only party. So let's get started. First of all, if you don't know what is Erasmus, Erasmus is a program at university where you can exchange between universities. So you can go to another country and stay there for one semester or one year on your exchange and study abroad. And a lot of people think that Erasmus is only parties and that's all about and you should not go if you're not a party person or if you actually want to study or if you just want to have fun studying abroad. And I just want to debug it. I just want to bust this myth because basically, yes, there are also parties and they are amazing and there are a lot of them. For example, on my Erasmus, I used to have at least two parties a week or sometimes even like Tuesday, Thursdays, they were the party days. And then like on the weekends, I would go for the trips where we also party. And yes, it's a big part of Erasmus. It doesn't mean that if you don't like to party or if you don't bring alcohol, you will not have fun. And I will explain why. So first of all, as I already mentioned, trips. So you are able to travel or with other exchange students within your group or by yourself. It's your choice. There are a lot of Erasmus organizations that help international people abroad to unite, to travel together, to have fun together. So that's another part of the Erasmus that it's very, very common. And when you go on a trip, you don't have to always party. You can also visit the city, have some fun, go dancing, you can party if you want to, you can meet with people, you can cook with them sometimes because sometimes you are going into the hostel where you have the kitchen. You can actually do the tour around restaurants with other people. You will always find people who will have similar interests to you. Sometimes it will be two people, sometimes it will be ten. So it's always nice to ask people and go around and it doesn't seem that the travels with Erasmus students always end up in a club or always end up in a huge party in a hotel. Point number two, Erasmus is much more than parties. You make so many friendships. Friendships are an amazing part of Erasmus. All of you are abroad, probably alone, maybe first time in your life. You are going to the new city with new people. You don't know anybody and no one knows anybody. So you have a chance to unite with other people to just have some fun, get to know them, get to know their culture, make friendships, maybe fall in love and actually have the best time of your life. So friendships are as well the huge part of Erasmus program. Another thing that it's like one part of Erasmus program is actually learning languages. You go there, even if you speak English, you will figure it out that probably if it's your first time abroad, mostly studying, you don't know it either on the university level or you don't know it that fluently, so you feel comfortable. But if you're going to another country like I did to Spain, you have a chance to also learn another language. In my case, it was Spanish. Then when I went to Italy, I learned Italian. So this is a great opportunity for you to learn the language in the environment where they are local people, where they are native speakers. So you can actually learn the language pretty quickly and very well. Point number four, Erasmus is also getting to know new cultures. You will meet people from everywhere. And sometimes you will meet people who are not on the Erasmus program, but they just study abroad and they are from totally different continent and they are hanging out with you because you are international people and they don't feel weird with you. Because you are all like this lost people who don't have friends, as I said earlier, who came from another country, who are outsiders. And then you go on Erasmus and you find your small family, your small circle of friends where you are all international or you are the same nation, it doesn't matter, but you will stay with people who are a little bit different, people who you never met probably. So yeah, this is also a huge part to get to know another culture, to maybe get to know their cuisine, how do you differ from your culture, what is their religion, what is their story, what are they doing, how they dress up, how they uh, party, what time they eat, all the little things that add up and you will get to know so many different cultures, which is an amazing part of Erasmus as well. Another point, and maybe that's going to be for the people who actually don't want to party a lot, university. You may get into an amazing university. And if you party, I don't say you cannot go to university because I partied and I studied at the same time and like all of Erasmus students, but in a way I had to actually study quite a lot because I have classes in Spanish. It took much more time for me to study. And I actually had a lot of classes because I had five classes each semester. I was there one year. So quite a lot of classes for an Erasmus student. Normally people take about three. So yeah, if you go for the university, you may go to the better university or you may go to the university that gives you more possibilities, that gives you some other way of learning, some other way of how you can approach the problem because they will be just different teachers, different approach, different programs. So you will be able to see different things as well. So. Erasmus is as well university. And actually the, the idea of Erasmus is basically university and uh, not the parties, but on the parties, the good part about partying on Erasmus is that you actually meet people that it's so much easier. So as I said earlier, even if you don't drink or you don't like to party, force yourself to go just to meet people. No one will judge you. Some people will ask like why you are not drinking, but 
you can also take coke you can also take i don't know iced tea or even water and no one will care you just have to hang out with them then you will find people who prefer to go maybe for the hike maybe to the museum maybe to the theater you will see the people you will like you will find them but you have to get out to people first point number six amazing part of the Erasmus is food endless amount of food you can eat in a country you went to either the local food or the food that your friends will actually cook for you. So this is one of the best parts of Erasmus as well. You just can go to the restaurant or order something online or maybe prepare something or you do this Euro dinners or any other type of meeting with your friends where you cook together or someone cook for somebody and you will be able to eat tons of food. And Erasmus is one of the opportunities to actually learn a lot about cooking, a lot about different cultures, different food, different cuisine. So this is the amazing part as well. Part that I love, there are two points, dancing and singing. This is the part where you can be yourself. If you ever had issues about like, I don't like to dance in the public, I don't like to sing because my voice is not the best. You will see that so many people do it and they don't care. So you will just join them. Maybe not the first time, maybe not the second time, but you will join them eventually because there will be karaoke night, there will be some parties uh, for dancing or there will be like house a meeting and people will put the music on and someone will start to chill. It's just the amazing part of Erasmus as well. And it's not always equal parties because I don't know, karaoke, karaoke thing for me is not really a party, at least in a thinking of like Erasmus parties. So I would say, yeah, go for it. And uh, you know, in worst case scenario, you may never meet these people again. So no loss at all. And last but not least, you may fall in love in a place you are and you will be able to visit it every day with every single detail. So if you're going to one city, you will be able to search it as much as you can and there will be around it, maybe the whole region, maybe the whole country. So just visit as much as you can, have fun over there, do the stuff that actually makes you happy. So as I said earlier, if you prefer go to museums, go to museums. For example, I love to get into the churches to see how the different churches are made because that's how my mom was traveling with us. She was always enthusiastic about churches and I do it until the day of today. I always visit churches and I think they're amazing and there is some art in them that did interest me. Some museums that I really wanted to uh, to see as well. I'm not a huge museum person, but for example, when I knew that I'm like three, four hours from Madrid, I had to go to Madrid, I had to go to Prado, I had to go to Picasso Museum. So yes, these are the things that for me are the must be. And then you can go for like some sport events or you may go to some stuff in the theater or any other thing that it's interest for you, hikes, sports, anything. So just enjoy it, visit the stuff that you can uh, during this semester or a year abroad and just have fun. So thank you for watching. I hope you understood that Erasmus is not only partying, that it's much more than partying. If you have something else to add, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read about the things that you think that Erasmus is. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about studying abroad, Erasmus program, Rotary Youth Exchange and my life abroad currently in Luxembourg. So if you enjoyed this type of video, subscribe to my channel so you will not miss any of my future videos. And here I leave you the video about my costs of Erasmus and study abroad playlist. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.